So Dynamic Earth officially opens this Saturday, so February 15th, and with it the whole facility is open, including our newest exhibition under the Arctic, Digging into Permafrost. So this exhibit allows you to discover a what is permafrost and discover the mysteries that lies within it as it starts to thaw. But it also allows visitors to better understand what are the challenges facing building infrastructure? What are the challenges with the thawing permafrost and climate change all mixed into it? And we've also added that Canadian component because there is so much permafrost here in Canada. So it's really important that we're highlighting um, um, those changes and the work that the communities and the researchers and engineers and scientists are all doing collaboratively in order to better understand and help permafrost. So we're interested in permafrost because of what is in it. So there can be a lot of ice in permafrost, which means that when it thaws, the surface can collapse, it can lose volume, become very muddy. And so it's very a big problem in that case when there's infrastructure built at the surface. And permafrost also contains a lot, a lot of organic carbon in the form of dead plants that have not rotten when they died because they got preserved in the frozen ground as if they're preserved in the freezer. And now that permafrost is thawing, all of that dead organic material is available to decompose and it emits greenhouse gases. And there's so much carbon in permafrost soils and permafrost areas, then more than, there's more than what is found in the atmosphere at the moment. But uh, we're worried as to what's going to happen to it. And the more permafrost thaws, we feel we might have a positive or a snowball effect of contributing more greenhouse gases and more warming than more thawing of permafrost. So that's another big concern.